Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for the third official Pleta yarn haul video. So you might be wondering what's up with my outfit today? So yeah, as you can see, I am wearing my virus shawl, which I've crocheted in this lovely yellow to red um, colors. It's a hobby sultan cake, and I have the tutorial for this exact shawl here on this channel, and I've linked to that tutorial in the description box down below, should you be interested in that. The orange hat here is, and of course also a bit the shawl, because it does have orange in it, has to do with that today is the king's birthday here in the Netherlands and that is this an official day for celebration and everybody is off work more or less unless you're working in sectors where um, you are needed such as hospitals etc but generally um, and general people are off work on April 27th um, so yeah king's day in the Netherlands and I thought how do we celebrate this the best? Um, of course, by doing a yarn haul and Pleta has a lot of wonderful cakes. So I bought 18 cakes from Pleta in orange shaded colors. So yeah, let's see. I have this huge box from Pleta sitting here waiting to be unwrapped together with you guys in my orange outfit here so i cannot wait to share them with you of course as you know we cannot talk yarn without my faithful mug of tea which today of course let's keep the theme here is the dutch blend pickwick's a dutch blend is a black tea with a flavor of orange and yeah this is the sachet, and it is a very, very wonderful tea. So yes, I hope you are ready to take in this yarn adventure with me. Um, unboxing a bunch of orange cakes. So let's get started on the opening of this crate. And it is really, really heavy. I think this is probably the heaviest order I've done to date. Um, it was it was really, really heavy compared to any of the others. So I am obviously curious if they added anything extra or if it's just because I bought this amount of heavy yarns. We are almost there. Ta-ta! On wraps. And oh, you should have a first view in here. Just like a quick, quick preview. Yeah, give me one moment. I'll just give you a glance of this before we continue the unboxing. Look at this wonderful box. All those yarns. Of course, we have the note here. All these yarns, more there. Lots of yarns. Cool. So I grab the receipt. It's always good to have. Who knows? At least I can see what I paid for them. And I'm not really sure where to start, but. I think we'll just start from the end and then we'll stack them up and we'll take them one by one. And they all, as you could see from the quick glimpse, are just like wrapped in, in these lovely individual bags. Um, oh, the start tab is stuck on the... So I almost pulled out my center pull. I need to squeeze it a bit back in. So just one moment. <laughs> it pulled it out. And it's pretty tight woven, to be honest. But here we go. This is 
looking like we have a different sort of labeling here. It's the Muffin Sweet. And it says here it should be 550 grams to 1160 meters of yarn. It contains merino, acrylic and silk. So 10% merino wool, 75% acrylic and 15% silk. It is soft. It's very interesting. So it's obviously you can see the outer edge here is gorgeous brown and it goes into orange. And then it has this sort of yellow thing. So of course the orange is why I got it because it's King's Day. That's a good way to celebrate the king, isn't it? Yarn. Wonderful cake. So muffin a tweed, this one is. And on the other end. Big, big ball of yarn. Not even sure what to make of it. I just, yeah. I like getting yarn. It's gonna be one big project of something. Good. The next one is one of their Muffin Fresh. Well, let's just quickly look at the Muffin Tweed. Price-wise, for those that's interested, is that it was um, 40 euros, about. So it's not like overly expensive for the amount of yarn that you're getting. Um, and we're unwrapping the next bag here. And all these bags I need to wrap up back again afterwards, but yeah, that's a project for another time. And this muffin fresh cake has a little bit of factory smell. It contains a 430 grams, and for those 430 grams, you get 2,000 meters, a whooping two kilometers of yarn here, girls or friends. Orange, brighter orange, I would say mustard, yellow, and I'm brighter white. Muffin fresh. Here we are. Lots of yarn to play with for sure. And it's um, recommending crochet hook size, two to four millimeters. Can be washed at 30 degrees, can be ironed. Don't do anything other crazy with it. Um, and it's 100% acrylics. So that was a muffin fresh. And let's see if I actually have a number for it. It's number five, I think. By the looks. Yeah, it's number five. Or no, it's not. It's number 1031. Um, and the price is like nine euros, 30-ish. So it's pretty good price for the amount of yarn you're getting. It's crazy when you think about it. Um, then I have a regular muffin cake here. Muffins, um, spec-wise, are like quite similar to the muffin fresh. Um, they are also pretty big cakes with a lot of yarn, crazy amount of yarn to be honest. Um, and this muffin is absolutely gorgeous. Woohoo! Look at this. Very, very dark orange to bright orange. It's kind of peachy orange. Peachy the other side here but it is orange i would say this is orange like yeah the center is definitely orange oh and i lost my little bait which is on the end here um i forgot to mention actually all these so far also the tweed here you can see it's a four stranded yarn four stranded tweed yarn the muffin fresh it's clear to see here. It's a three-stranded yarn. So you hold all these strands together to create your yarn. And the same goes for the regular muffin here. You have three strands going straight together, which creates the yarn. This is very soft. Very soft yarn. 100% acrylics, 430 grams to 2,000 meters of yarn, two kilometers of yarn. You can literally make a whole shirt in this, not a problem. Like, 
you'll probably even have yarn less left. So 30 degrees, uh, two to three, two to four millimeters crochet hook, can be ironed. Except for that, there is nothing crazy about this one. It's just a lovely muffin, muffin cake. I like it. Lovely. Then I have one more, which is also just a regular muffin. And I need to, this seems to be better wrapped up than bullers. Just a moment. And I need to make sure I don't lose the bait. I have these lovely tabs at the end for the simple. I love them. Kind of different shapes, colors. So this is another regular muffin. So it has the same specs as the other orange, but the orange colors are white or more orange, more, I would say pastel orange to white. Huh? This is a pastel peachy orange. So you could probably sort of, I would say that, whoop, that the peachy orange here is very similar to the outer edge here. Like, let's see if I can hold them so a bit closer together. You can see that. I would say they're the same. So you could theoretically work these two together if you wanted to, somehow. Um, and this inner center of this might actually even be the same as as the middle one here. They could definitely be combined if you if you should want to. Lovely, lovely, soft, soft acrylic. Mm. These um, regular muffins, they're like eight euros, 10 or something like that per piece. They're like insanely good priced for, for what you're getting. At least that's my, my perception of it. Of course, you need to be able to work with these um, multiple stranded yarns. Um, this is also a multiple stranded yarn. It's uh, it's four yarns plied together um, that you hold together. So we have more yarns. More yarns. We have more yarns. We've got another muffin a cake. I have a few of these muffin cakes, and I think that's the reason why this shipment was so heavy. Um, I've never ordered this many muffin cakes at the same time. Um, but yeah. Eventually, you have to try something new, right? This, my friends, is another orange muffin. But my orange muffin cakes here are different colors. So here we have the white center, and we have a meat, sorry, a regular, a regular orange here, and a dark orange at the outer edge. More like a rusty, rusty orange. Lovely. Plenty, plenty of things here. Maybe this rusty, rusty orange is then similar to the center orange. Sure, it could be a bit rusty. Mm. They do come close. They do come close. They do come close. Oh, all this, all this muffin cakes. And I have one more. One more. I just need to open it. And it's also a muffin, so I think this is probably my last muffin. I'm looking at the table, I have like five muffins and a muffin sweet. No wonder that my table is getting full already. And I've only gone through like, I'm not even halfway of this unboxing. So I hope you really like yarns. Look at this one. This is a mixture of all of them with a yellow, but this is like the rusty orange, and then a more yellow-ish toned, and the more like peachy orange on the outer edge. Still lovely, lovely cake, huh? Do you have any favorites? Like, I should probably even give you numbers though, they all have like numbers and not names. This one is 110. This one is 12. This one is 91. This one is 90. 
to say I like this one the best. I think. And the last one, no, that's a muffin fresh, so that's not counting in. So the four muffin cakes, which do you like the most? Should you have to choose? Um, we have other things in this lovely box, of course, because I did get more things. Um, I don't know really where to start. These are all, compared to the muffins, smaller cakes. Not saying that small necessarily is small, small, but they are smaller compared to. So the next cake I'm gonna show you guys here is the one they call Muffin Magic Drops. And this is where we have them. It has these drops of magical, glittery effect golden effect here and lovely huh so the muffin matching drops recommends crochet hook size of three a two a five millimeters can be washed at 30 degrees and it can be ironed um the rest they advise you not to try out um muffin magic drops is retail price like 13 and a half euros and it has number 20,540. Centerful, of course, like they all have. It's like a beige white to a yellow, and it's all, and then to a mustard yellow. Um, I was debating if this was orangey enough to, to qualify for this yarn haul, and I decided it was, because I found it looked amazingly awesome, and yellow and red mixed together does give orange, and that would be the one half, so. I guess we could agree it's orange friendly. Yeah. Um, so we also forget specs about further them is here in this cake, we have a 330 grams. It's 80% acrylic and it's 20% lurex. And for those 330 grams, you get 1100 meters of yarn. I can imagine myself making something wonderful out of this for sure. And I love how these, and let's see, that's kind of like thicker, small th strands that's here and there. So it is indeed like dropped in. Um, I think the name is absolutely wonderful matching, matching here. So that was the Muffin Magic Drops Cake. And I'm just going to grab a tea. Because this is, I'm afraid, going to be a bit of a long video. But we are celebrating yarn together with the king, right? Um, then we have a cotton star cake. And the cotton star cake is, let's see if I have anything written down for that. Cotton Star. It's um, uh, almost a bit less than 12 years. This would be it. Mustardy yellow to a more peachy orange to a more like nude color. But I consider it orange enough to, to qualify here. It has center pull, of course. It's it's a thinner yarn than, than the most. Lovely center pull tab here on top. Um, as I just said, it's a cut and star cake. The cut and star cake, they recommend crochet hook size, a three and a half, a two and a half to three millimeters, washed at 30 degrees, can't be ironed. Um, this is applied yarn, though I can see it's not always equally applied, or well, it is, but um, it's not always evenly good together, but it is. One strand that's, I would say, rather loosely plied together with a thread of gold in it. I don't know if you can see it. And you can see here, it's some of that is somewhat loosely applied together. So it is, um, oh no, I lost it. The little bead. I should make a little collection here. Um, so this cut and star cake, um, let's see if I can find the yarn specs. Um, this cake is 270 grams 
and it's 90% natural soft cotton and 10% lurex. Lurex is the golden part of it. So yeah, that's it. And um, the 270 grams gives you just a thousand meters of this lovely yarn. They come in several colors. I thought this was a nice little orange one. And some of, the, some of them don't always have orange colors in the cakes um, on, the, on the website that is, but I was just trying to get a good selection of what I thought was the most orange friendly of the cakes without trying to double them too much. Um, I do have a few cakes where I actually got two of them, um, but I'll get in on that a bit later this video. Um, then we have, let's see, I have this one, that's a good one. Oh, that's differently packed. Because the others comes in these nice, um, like with a slipping on top. This one is like completely packed like this. This is the Merino Cake Thousand. And I am going to unpack it because I want to feel it. So I will unpack this yarn, but I will definitely not pack this one back in because I'm not sure if I will be able to pack it as nicely in as they did it at the factory. So I will I just want to get it out because I, I wanna feel this yarn. I wanna feel this yarn. And it's of course a bit stopped with the label, so I'm just gonna take the label out and I'll add the label nicely to it again. Wow, how, how, how. Look at this gorgeous baby. Red, orange, yellow. It's matching this one. Like I could make a new, new, new wire shawl, I guess, from this one. Except this one is softer. Woohoo! Colorway 310 from Merino Cake Thousand. And it recommends crochet hook size two and a half to four millimeters. Can be washed at 30 degrees, can be ironed. It has a center pull tab and it has four strands, as you can see here. And it is a thin yarn. It is a thin yarn. Let me find the spec contents of this. And this is also one of the reasons I had to get it. It is a 50% Australian baby merino. 50% Australian baby merino wool. And this is for something that's wool. This is some of, it's really, really, really scarfable friendly. And then it's 50% of fine acrylic fibers. There are 300 grams in this cake and you have a thousand meters of yarn. Um, I definitely have to get more of them. This is lovely. Absolutely a marvelous ton of a cake. I will not be able to fit it back into the bag because it already puffed up a bit more. But that's okay. I can't wait to use that one. It has to be for some project for the winter maybe because it has wool in it. Of course, you can always work with wool not without having it to be winter. But let's see. Next case, I have um a baby muffin. And the baby muffin. I am gonna pack out. Oopsie daisy. I do apologize for all these unpacking sounds. Baby muffin colorway uh, 719. I decided this was orangey enough to classify to get hold because I know it's pink, but it is kind of orange. Yeah, peachy orange. Um, and why did I want this one? Because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It's an absolutely gorgeous cake. Woohoo! So, 250 grams in this lovely cake gives you 1160 meters of yarn. It is 100% acrylic yarn, if I'm not wrong. Yes, it is 100% acrylic. And it has also uh, three strands for you to crochet with. So it is a fine yarn, two, two to four millimeter crochet hook, can be washed at 30 degrees, can be ironed. Don't do anything else with it, of course, like everything else. Baby muffin. So basically, they are a small version of the big muffins. 
But yeah, lovely, isn't it? A bit more yardage though. Like, it's not like half the muffins because they are like, the big muffins are 2,000 meters and this is 1,160. So it's more than half, but they are the smaller version. Then I have, let's see, I have two more baby muffins. And they are actually the same. And I'm going to take one out. Another one I'm just going to leave in the bag because they will be exactly identical. So I'm not going to unpack both. Pretty. Peachy orange, yellow, white. Lovely, huh? Um, again, the same specs as we had here, except this is a different colorway. It's 721, 721. Still lovely yarn, quite reasonably soft and correct for what it is. And of course I get several for a reason, because you will find one of these in a giveaway. The giveaway that's going to come up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that one. Of course, if you watch this video at a later time, it might have passed the go away, but that's a good reason for you to be subscribed to my channel and hit that little notification bell so you get notified when I do post new videos, regardless of these being yarn hauls, uh, giveaway videos, tutorials, yarn talk videos, and much, much more. Stay tuned. So I have two of these, and this one is going in a giveaway tomorrow. Um, then I have, let's see, what do I have? I'm just trying to get the same so we don't need to double spec them all. I have two candies and I have two cotton cakes and I have a muffin lux. So I have six cakes left to show you. But technically I only have five, but that's because one of them is a double. But as I said, it's all right. There's a reason for that. Um, I forgot to say the baby muffins, they're like um, seven euros or so a cake. So that's pretty reasonably as well, quite price. Um, so the next cake here is the candy. Very bright red, orange to more like skin tone color. Has orange. Hardy. Um, 100% soft cotton, 280 grams gives 900 meters of this lovely cotton yarn. It is a fine cotton and it is plied together. So it's not several stranded, it is a plied cotton um, with center pull, of course. And you can get an idea, it is thin, lovely for many things. It's classified as a fine yarn too. Um, they say recommend zero to two millimeter crochet hook. I totally disagree. Um, even a two mean reader would consider a bit thin for this one, but everybody each to their own. Um, 30 degrees, it can be washed at and it can be ironed and don't bleach and don't tumble dry it. Um, yes, it is 100% soft cotton. It's a soft cotton. I agree. It is soft cotton. So that was the candy. And oh, I forgot to say it's a colorway. 789, so 789 from this candy. I have one more candy, so it has the exact same yarn specs, except it has a different color and therefore also a different number. So first, I need to unwrap it. And this one is lovely orange to white. Yes, it matches our theme, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And, oh, just a moment. So, and this colorway is 862. And this would be the tiny center pull bead. Lovely. Yes, absolutely lovely. Then we have two cotton cakes left. They are both different. 
And this is the same as I had with the one baby muffin. I made the decision that it had enough orange to classify for the theme of orange and orange celebration. Um, and this is how it looks. It's pink on the inside, but it has orange. Plenty of orange. Pink, red, orange. Let's see. We are matching. I decided I had enough orange to come. Of course, I thought it was a lovely, lovely looking cake. Cotton cakes are 250 grams. 250 grams gives you a thousand meters of yarn. 100% natural soft cotton. Compare these to the candy. They feel the same. Like, they feel the same, but they're different. There are more heavy weight in this one compared to this one. Um, I would say it might be... This might be slightly thinner, but it's very, very little. Um, but that's the 30 grams split on those whooping kilometer of yarn. So that is very little uh, difference. But there is a slight, slight, tiny difference. So cut and cake here. And they recommend crochet hook size two to two and a half millimeters. And considering this is a bit lighter than this one, I know that zero to two millimeters is wrong. So that's that recommendation I would not count on. But this one sounds more like it, um, maybe even at 2.75 or three millimeter hook. Can't be washed at 30 degrees, can't be ironed, and it is colorway 413. Gorgeous, isn't it? And I have one more cotton cake left. And this cotton cake obviously has the same stats as the other one. And it's more like, this is more like a peachy, peachy orange. The white in the center, peachy orange. Lovely. I like it. It's absolutely more peachy, light orange, but it fits the theme 100%. And then I have two left, two identical cakes. They are the Muffin Mini Lux. The Muffin Mini Lux. I'll just own one of them because, again, as they're identical, there seems to be a way to open both of them. The Muffin Mini Lux is um, like €8.40 per cake. Um, and this colorway is gorgeous orange yellow white with golden thread you have to say this is probably the highlight almost of this unboxing well actually there are many highlights you're many positive highlights but this baby is gorgeous um the mini locks here um, gives us following specs. It can be washed at 30 degrees, can be ironed, and they recommend three and a half to four and a half millimeter, oh, sorry, three to four and a half millimeter crochet hooks. Um, it's 250 grams and it's a thousand meters. It's 90% acrylics and 10% lurex. Lurex again is those lovely fleckles. And as I said, I have a sextra here. And you know what this means? I could have bought, bought two to make a larger project. I absolutely could have. I didn't. I'm gonna give the secondary away as well. Make it away tomorrow with a few other things. So do stay tuned for that giveaway. I would. Isn't this lovely? Gorgeous. I would say it's very similar to, to the baby muffin here. It's a bit lighter, but they are quite alike. I realize now. I didn't look that closer to them on the website though, but they are somewhat similar. That's cool. And that's it. Box here is empty. Lots of lovely yarn to work with. Some yarn to go away. Tomorrow. Or at least in the giveaway that's coming up tomorrow. Stay tuned for that one. Um, happy birthday to 
the king of the Netherlands because he's the reason I decided to make this orange themed just like you have many other themes across the world but this seemed like a really really good reason to dress up because other Dutch people do that they dress up a bit and celebrate the king um, I guess in that sense I have integrated well here in the Netherlands if I'm 100% feeling Dutch I feel at home here I feel at home but I still have Danish Viking gut for sure um, it was a pleasure sharing this yarn haul with you and I'm sure that I will have future yarn hauls coming from a Pleta yarns when is always a good question um, but let's first make a bit room in my storage by giving some of it away um, stay tuned and yeah, as said earlier in this video, please subscribe. Please, please, please watch this video in the full. Um, leave comments down below and do like this video. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoy a yarn talking. Um, I will be back tomorrow with my orange giveaway video. Tomorrow is Friday. I know I normally do giveaways on Thursdays and yarn hauls on Fridays. Um, but this week it is different and simply because of the dates. Um, and because it is King's Day on Thursday and I decided to swap it around and keep it a little bit more enticing. Much more, much more is coming up on this channel very soon. Stay tuned for that. There will be more updates um, to come. And also my anniversary is coming up very soon as well. It's next week. Thank you very much. Take care. I hope you enjoyed the yarn haul and stay healthy and happy crocheting, happy knitting, happy whatever craft you may do with yarn. Bye.